Hello ladies, it's Sue here, one of the Look Fabulous Forever Ambassadors and that's a hair care, skin care and makeup range for ladies with older skins. Well, I've done my makeup today but I've done some things deliberately wrong on purpose because our topic is all about eyeshadow and some do's and don'ts for older ladies. Right, so I'm going to show you my face close up. Don't get frightened. <laughs> I'm zooming in. And I don't know whether you can see which side of my face the mistakes are. Which side do you prefer? If you guess this side, then you're right. Because when I put my makeup on earlier, on this side of my face, I purposely did things that are wrong. Things that accentuate fine lines and that are aging to my face. So let me talk you through what I've done. The first thing that I, I did or didn't do in this case when putting my eye makeup on was to not use my primer on this side. So on this side, I've always moisturized my eye area before I put on makeup, not particularly on my lids and particularly not if you've got oily lids, but round here, I make sure I'm moisturized and then I use primer. Look Fabulous Forever Eye Primer is fantastic. And really, you just need a pinprick that much and that'll probably do both eyes. You apply it, tap it in, let it settle a little bit and you've got a smooth and lovely surface to apply your shadows on top of it. So not only will your eyeshadow go on better, but it will stay in place all day. So it's, eye primer is a, a great thing to use. On this eye, I haven't used any primer. The second thing that I've done differently on both eyes is when I use my highlighter. Now, I use the Soft Neutrals palette today and the cream in that I've used to just highlight my brow bone here on this side of my face. But on this side, can you see? I used a sheeny old shadow, not look fabulous forever because they don't do sheeny shadows, <laughs> but I used a cream shadow that's got a sheen to it. And the reason why I look fabulous forever eyeshadows are matte, no shimmer eyeshadows, are because that sheeny shadows like this or um, those highlighted with something, they settle into fine lines and that will accentuate any wrinkles or fine lines that you may have. And I know years ago when we went off to the disco, we would put our highlighter here and they did tend to be shiny and oh sometimes the photographs were horrendous <laughs> with the flash on that stripe of shine so what i'm going to do now is remove that and um replace it with the the cream shadow that i've used on this side so here goes i've just got a moistened tissue here that i'm going to take that off before anyone sees me but I'm going to put a little bit of my eye prime on there just to even up the base on both eyes tap it in just to give it a bit of a base and smoothness and then I'm going to take my cream shadow out of the soft neutrals and then apply it to match the other eye I hope you can see an instant improvement there Okay, so no shadow, no, uh, no shimmer shadows and the trios are fantastic. On this eye, I've used the soft neutrals. I used a little bit of cream and rose together in the corner. And then I used taupe, the taupe shade, from about the start of my lashes to the end, just sweeping it up a little bit. On this eye, <laughs> I just used the taupe. I just used one shade and covered my whole eye in it. And I also used, I think you can see a little bit too much. So that's the, the eyeshadow trios. 
and I enjoy the soft neutrals, I enjoy the greens and I also enjoy the soft greys. And these help, you know, when you're putting your makeup on, you don't have to look for tonal shades or when you buy makeup, these are all pre-selected for you and they're just lovely to use. The thing about no shimmer eyeshadows all are they're fantastic for mature skin, but they do lack any shine so they can flatten your eye so on this eye i've actually used a little bit of the sheer brilliance lid color as a highlight so if you can see i've applied it just in the center of my eye and it just catches the light it just gives that little bit of sheen that this eye doesn't have so i'm going to before i put this on i'm just going to take off or blend in because blending is another important thing you should do when you're applying your makeup make sure your eyeshadows are blended I'm just going to blend this in a little bit because I did intentionally put too much on and I didn't blend it sufficiently so my goal is to try and get it the same as that eye and to do that I'm going to have to add some cream to the corner just to lighten that little bit up. If you take a dark shadow right to the corner of your eyes, you're actually going to close your eyes. You're going to make that eye look nearer to that eye and make your eyes look smaller. So I don't think I've heard a lady ever say, oh, I do wish I had smaller eyes. <laughs> so that's that. Let me blend again, get a little bit evened up. There we go. And then I'm going to take that sheer brilliance eye colour and just put, I'm going to put a dot. I just put a tiny amount in the centre of the lid. Almost make us a, tr a little triangle. And then I just blend that with my finger. Just to add a highlight to the centre, making my eyes look fuller and rounder. Okay, so that's no shimmer shades, not putting too much um, on. And then the next thing, which is a, I think closes your eyes, is the application of your pencil. And on this eye, I've taken pencil just about from the start of my, they call that your iris, start of my eye to the end on the inner rim and where I've lined my lash line. And on the bottom of my eye, I've just taken it from just before the corner of my eye to the center of my eye. And that I think keeps your eyes defined, but keeps your eyes open. On this eye, I've taken it, I've done my lash lining right across the top. And I've also lined the inner rim of my lashes from there right to the end. And then when it comes to the bottom, I've taken that uh, lining at the bottom right up to so that they meet. And that really makes a hard, harsh line and actually closes your eye. So I'm going to try and correct that now again with this little bit of moistened tissue um, to see if I can do that. There's not a lot I can do about the top line. But I can change the corners and just open those eyes up a bit. Okay, there we are. I think they look a little bit better. So no harsh lines and don't join them up in the corners. And then lastly, it's all about mascara. And um. This eye, I just took my Live Lash Mascara and did a single coat and then I let it dry while I was lining my lips and putting my lipstick on and then I just put another single coat on the top and I just brushed my bottom lashes with the Live Lash Mascara. On this eye, I actually kept working my mascara in I put more than one coat on and um, I didn't let it dry between co coats. 
So I think you can see my lashes. It was very difficult to try and get clumpy lashes with the live lash mascara because it just doesn't clump. But too, too much, too heavy mascara, particularly in the daytime, and especially on those lower lashes, can look very harsh and that leads to looking aging as well. Okay, so I think that's all I've got to share with you. I've tried to make both sides of my face look the same now. Um, I don't know, ladies, what do you think? Have you got any tips for me <laughs> concerning eyeshadow and application and what you do to try and look your best with the Look Fabulous Forever range of eyeshadows? If you have, please comment below. If you found this useful, please give me a thumbs up and please share spread the word about look fabulous forever they are wonderful products for ladies with older skins thank you ladies for watching and do have a lovely weekend bye for now